August 27th today. So the kids are not back to school just yet. So in today's video, it's going to kind of be like a day in the life in the end of summer. So I'm in the fall mood. I don't have my fall decor out just yet, but I do plan to be getting it out very soon. I think the first few days that the kids are back to school, that's when I plan to decorate for fall and I cannot wait. Um, so today we're going to, I have some sourdough bread that I attempted to make last night. It was, the dough was very moist, so I don't know how well it's going to bake, but we're going to try it anyway. Um, so I have sourdough bread to make. Uh, we have to clean up, get laundry done, do all the motherhood motivation type things. So that is what we're going to be working on today. Um, a lot to get done. My house is a mess. Uh, so there is that, but we're going to just work on it together. If you guys like these sorts of videos where we kind of just spend a little bit of time together doing house chores and stuff like that, give it a big thumbs up. I would love for you to join me over here on my channel. I've also recently uploaded other videos. So if you haven't checked them out, be sure to check them out. A little bit of a fall inspired content, even though I haven't actually decorated for fall. So um, today for dinner, if the sourdough bread turns out, I would love to make grilled cheese sandwiches and tomato soup. It is gonna be like 86 degrees today. So <laughs> uh, definitely not soup weather for us, but it's crazy because last week it was like 60 degree weather. It was cool, it felt so good, it felt like fall. We had a little tease and now we're back in the high 80s. So back to the summer stuff, um, which that's all right. I'm not wishing away summer, but I do love fall. So there you have it. So anyway, let's go ahead and get jump into this video. We've got a lot to do. Like I said, first we're gonna go through and kind of pick up all the rooms so that way I can kind of clean up. I have to vacuum, I've got dishes to do, you know, all the, all the things. So let's go ahead and jump in. I did fold a bunch of laundry yesterday, so I have these baskets to put away. That's the boys' basket, Stella's basket, and then <laughs> I've got a random dinosaur on the floor. Towel basket and then Paisley's basket. So Ryan and I put our baskets away last night. The kids weren't in bed, so we weren't able to get these put away. And hello, Bo. Hi, baby. Are you a good boy? He's like, Mom, I'm taking my morning nap. Leave me alone. Okay, so this is the first change I wanted to share with you guys. It is our new front door. We still have a little bit of painting to do like up there just to kind of touch it up. But this is our new like front door and it has all glass so it lets in a lot of light and it works perfectly because Mr. Bo can come right in. So this is the mud room. This is what we added on. This used to be the front porch if you remember. And this works so good when Bo is wet or muddy. He can just kind of come in, sit down, and I will show you what this looks like. So, coming in from the front door, this is what you see. You know, it's like just a closed in front porch really is what it is. So it's not, there's no heat in here, but it will be fine in the winter time. Um, we've got some shelves, hooks, perfect place for Ryan to put his muddy boots. Um, and then we have this shoe thing here. I don't love this. Um, I was expecting it to be like a warmer toned wood. So I think eventually I might change that up, but for now it's fine and it does hold a lot of shoes. And then up here we have like umbrellas and stuff. So it's fine for now. Uh, like I said, I don't absolutely love it, but I think it'll fit fine for now. So anyway, yeah, this is the mud room and I have been loving just having this space to take your shoes off, take your coat off, hang it up. We've got all these hooks here and each of the kids, um, so we have Grant, Paisley, Stella, and then Weston, um, me and Ryan, and then some extra hooks as well. So it works out perfect. And then I have this bin here. Currently it's just housing my uh, clothes, clothes pins for the clothesline, but we'll probably put like hats and gloves in that or something like that. And then I also have two little bins up there. So yeah, I have been loving this. And then over here, 
this is what it looks like. I've got our since little fingers touch our floor, floor, please remove your shoes at the door sign there with a little like cow thing that I've had forever um, with some cotton and that lights up and it's on a barrel. Here's the front door. I do have to paint this still. I'm still debating. I'm thinking about doing some sort of wood tone, but I'm not positive. So it's just primed right now, but it's fine. It, I love it. Um, and then I've got some pictures hanging on the wall that I took up the river and I framed them. I did these frames myself. They were black, but I used some rub and buff to make them look old. So uh, there is that. And I thought about getting new prints for like each season. So when it's fall, I might take a couple pictures and then winter. And then so I can change them out just to kind of change it up in here. So that is everything. Um, this door also, this is the, it's kind of hard to show because of the lighting. This is probably the best you'll get. This is our storm door. So it does have a window and then it also has a dog door. Bo goes in and out of that so he can come in here, dry off, he can go outside when he wants to go outside. It's so, so nice to have, but we had to put on a new front door because if we didn't, Stella would escape out of there. So this is so nice. I am in so much love with this. It has made my life so much easier in the house. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. And then if we took these hooks off of the wall, we would have had to, like fill in where the board was and repaint and everything. So I decided just to just use utilize them as decor. Um, I've got like a cutting board there, a little basket with some like picks that I got from TJ Maxx clearance and then a, an apron. And I plan to hang up some like festive aprons when I get them out or I really want to start collecting some aprons. So I think that would be really neat, but there, there's that one right in it there for now. It's fine. Um, and then I also have a little wall plug-in that is a little pumpkin. It's like a night light. So yeah, that's what I'm doing right there for now. And it works perfect. so sad um this is the first sourdough bread that has not turned out for me which is actually pretty surprising usually the first few times that people try a recipe is like a fail but no i tried a different recipe and i knew i shouldn't have but i was just like you know what? let me try it yeah should not have done that so i'm gonna go back to the one that i've always used and it's been so delicious and we're gonna try that. Um, so I did take my sourdough starter out of the fridge. I'm gonna let it get up to room temperature a bit, give it a good feeding, and then um, we're gonna try it again. So <laughs> it will go, I will make it tonight. So later tonight I will do it before bed, a few stretch and folds, and then after that I will uh, let it rise overnight and then we can put it in the oven in the morning. So that's the plan. I'm kind of bummed that it didn't turn out. I was really looking forward to it. And I even baked the cinnamon sugar one because I was just like, okay, well, maybe it'll be fine and I can make it like, I think they call it focaccia or focaccia. I don't know. Bread, yeah, it didn't turn out. <laughs> Let me show you guys what it looks like. It smells good because it's cinnamon sugar, but. So I'm gonna let it cool. <laughs> like paper thin <laughs> um I don't know what the heck happened but um I'm gonna let it cool cut a piece and try it and if it's not bad I could make a, a cream cheese frosting to put on top and then cut it into like squares maybe uh I don't know we'll see I don't know so we branch it might have to There is
is a life I lead in this city Hurrying to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart goes so I feel like this is the epitome of summer. Like, I have been on my feet all day, but I also feel like I've gotten nothing done. Like, oh, it's just so much work. It is so much work, and uh, my heart goes out to all of you s moms that homeschool. I just, I truly cannot imagine. I look forward to when school season start back up. starts back up, tongue twister. Um, I am currently sitting down, finally, for like the first time today. Since my coffee, I'm going to eat some peaches that we picked fresh right from outside. So let's go ahead and give a bite. Teeny bit tart. Oh my gosh, this is delicious. Um, so I'm gonna sit here, enjoy my peaches, my ice water. Stella's gonna be waking up pretty soon from her nap, so I'm gonna have to get her up. That uh, French toast bake is in the oven. I will share with you how it is uh, later because we're gonna have that for dinner tonight. And yeah, I'm just gonna relax for a bit. <laughs> welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here my name is Julie I am a stay-at-home mama of four and in today's video I'm giving you a little bit of a fall style haul oh don't mind the laundry behind me that is my next next task of the day so <laughs> just ignore that we'll pretend it's not there maybe if I sit there it's a little less distracting but um, I'm giving you a fall haul of all the fall things um, that I grabbed recently. I've kind of been just picking up little things here and there and I wanted to show you what I've recently got. I've got a cup of coffee here. It is not a pumpkin spice because I had to give a haul on that. So <laughs> I am uh, drinking a white peppermint mocha even though it's not even uh, September yet. First I will show you a couple things that I got at TJ Maxx. I saw this candle and I loved it. It was only six bucks. It looks like this and the top comes off. It's like a little acorn in the smell. Oh, it's like a sweet cinnamon fall scent. It smells so good. It doesn't have an actual name, but I just, I saw it and I loved it. And I was like, I would totally reuse this container, maybe clean it out and make it like a candy jar or I don't know, maybe just put it like on a tiered tray. That would be cute. But yeah, got this from TJ Maxx. Um, another thing I grabbed from TJ Maxx are these kind of like florals. They look like this. They were in the clearance section for three bucks. Um, so I grabbed these and I'm gonna stick them. I wanna get like a little basket to hang in my dining room on the wall from one of the hooks that I have and I wanted to stick these in it. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I got those. Next up, I went to Target that day too. I went shopping with my friends, so this is when I got this stuff. But I got this little vase. It was on clearance for, what is it? It was a hearth and hand, $6.99? I can't read it, I don't have my glasses on. Either $6.99 or $9.99, but it looks like this. And it's like a pretty green. I'll probably keep this out all year, but just like change up the florals that I put in it. So I got that. Um, one other thing I got from Target that day was these Starbucks pumpkin spice for my Nespresso. Is it going to focus? It's not focusing. Okay, looks like that. Got those. And then I went to Bath and Body Works. Uh, my friend had a 20% off coupon and I knew I needed some wall plugs for our mudroom. I don't like to put wax in there because with kids throwing shoes and stuff, it's just not, it's not a safe place. So, um... I like to put these oils in it and they were five for 20 something. So I got apple, pumpkin, these things is what I'm talking about. If you didn't know, pumpkin, pecan, waffles. I love this one. Leaves, a staple. I think I got two. Yeah, I got two leaves because I love that one so much. And then I also got sweet cinnamon pumpkin. So I figured you know what, I can have these, and then when people go in my house, like the first place you walk into is mudroom, and I don't want 
people will be like, wow, it stinks in here. You know what I mean? And then I got three of the car scents. They were three for 10, but then I had the 20% off coupon. So I got three ones in my car right now, but there's leaves still, pumpkin pecan waf waffles. And I think I have sweet cinnamon pumpkin in my car right now. It smells so good. So I got these two and then the other one. Um, so that is everything I like fall wise that I got. I'm just kind of slowly grabbing a few items here and there. And then I also wanted to share with you some of the school clothes I got Grant. Paisley's are already hung up and later on in this vlog I'll show you kind of her school clothes. Weston has been tough to shop for because he loves like Nike and all of that. But I haven't found very many good sales. We took him to TJ Maxx and they didn't have like anything. So we're kind of still getting him some things um, here and there. But Grant's finished. So I just got him these sweatpants from Old Navy. Everything here is from Old Navy. They have great deals for kids. Um, I got him these jeans and I think he's going to like them because they are the stretchy waistband, which he prefers. He's more of like a comfort kid, just like Weston. Um, and then another pair of pants here. So I got four pair of pants. These are like the jean material, but they're jogger style, which he prefers. Um, and he loves the like khaki color. So I got those and then I got a pair of blue ones these I bought him all 5t I think 5t is just a little bit long for him but I didn't want him to like wear it once and then it not fit so I got this maroon long sleeve I think I got one more long sleeve yeah this long sleeve here it says beast friends I think yeah beast friends forever and then on the back it's got like a moose and what else a fox and a bear so that's cute the little brown shirt um i got a little plain just short sleeve gray shirt and same exact shirt it's kind of like that heather material um but it's blue and then one other shirt here i got and this one's funny it says juice box energy <laughs> if you know grant you know he's got some energy in him but this one seems a little small it says 5t so i don't know Old Navy sizes sometimes can be a little bit small, so I don't know. We'll see. And then this. I love this. This sweat outfit I got him. It has the sweatshirt. Looks like this. And then it has the matching pants. And these have like the little pockets tied around the bottom, so more like jogger style. So cute. So cute. And the drawstring it is like a working one, so... I got him that. Um, I did grab him a few other things from Target the other day, but other than that, he's done school shopping. We got his sneakers, we got his book bag. So all is good. And I'm very excited for them to go back to school. This is his first year in kindergarten. So he is so excited. He did pre-K last year and Head Start the year before. So he's very excited to start school and it'll just be Stella and I at home. So there's gonna be like more videos up for one because I'll have more time to do it and um, I feel more confident in taking her out like shopping and doing different things by myself than I would if I had to take Grant and her because that gets a little bit too much. So there's everything that I got and I did want to share with you one other thing. Let me move my coffee. Um, this book that I have been reading, this is a devotional book and it's called Truth Unchanging and it says Hearing God Daily in the Midst of Motherhood and it's Graceful Devotions in Five Minutes or Less. I have been loving this book. I did get it on Amazon. I can leave you a link down below if you want to purchase it. I think it was only like 11 bucks on Amazon which is a steal because I was looking at this at Barnes and Noble and it was like $17. So um, I'm very glad that I looked on Amazon. But yes, I have been really enjoying this. A very quick and easy read in the mornings before the kiddos wake up. Uh, just to take five minutes or less out of my day, read a chapter and um, feel a little bit closer to the Lord. So if you are a Christian mama looking for a devotional, then I highly recommend this book. So anyway, I've got to get ready to go. I'm taking the kids. They're doing a free movie day in our town. It's a very small movie theater. Um, not very comfortable seats, but, uh, they're excited and you, the kids get, kids are free. They get free popcorn and a free drink. So they're very excited to go and we got some candy. So we're going to go and enjoy a movie together. So I think it's Pinocchio. So it's not like a new movie or anything, but it'll be fun anyway. So that's what we're doing. I got to bring Stella over to my mother-in-law's and then we're going to head out to the movies. I did want to mention, I went through the kids' closets yesterday and their dressers. 
that was such a relief it is such a chore to do but i do that every year the start of um each new season so like school season i put their like fall clothes out and all of that and then um come summertime i'll do it again but they grow so fast so it's like so much to go through so much to get rid of and it's been really such a relief because with grant anything that he grows out of i've been giving to my cousin because she has a little guy and it's just been nice not to have to store it in the attic for another kiddo so like paisley's i put in the attic for stella so she'll have clothes but it's just been it's kind of been nice like weeding things out getting rid of things downsizing stuff because man when you have four kids and you're saving stuff for like hand-me-downs it can be a lot our attic is like slowly getting weeded out so that's been nice but anyway i'm gonna go get ready for us to go to the movies and then we'll pick the vlog back up after that